this video, I'll be showing you the only ship you'll ever need in Starfield. This is the best ship I've built in Starfield so far. It's a small little fighter craft and it's got absolutely everything I need inside. So just to let you guys know, this ship was built in New Atlantis. And the ship's stats are as follows. It's got a hull of 1,347, cargo capacity of 1,364. You can have seven crew members. It's got a shield of 1,904 and a mass of 1,306. So the ship that I built this from was called the Rambler, which you can buy in New Atlantis for 28,000 credits, which is not a bad price to be fair. And changing it to this shape and putting different weapons on it, it comes to a total value of 38,000. However, building this shape actually only costs you 10,000 because when you delete the original ship, you get like a wallet of credits to spend and you spend that wallet before spending your own money. Opting for the late game version with Class C weaponry and items will cost you 72,466. Let's get into the build then. So we'll start with the cockpit. The one we're going to be using is the Magalen or the Magallan, however you want to pronounce it. Then we're going to build seven two by one Nova Habs and then four storerooms. When placing the Habs down, put everything down that you need, such as workbenches, living quarters, all that kind of stuff. So build the ship around your needs. For example, if you want to do research on your ship, put in a science lab. If you want to craft weapons and stuff, put in a workstation. Just cater the ship to your needs. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I've got loads of other build videos and loads more content planned and coming out. And I do have a Discord server as well. So if you ever get stuck on the game or you want to, you know, chat to like-minded people, jump on my Discord. It's, uh, it's getting quite active now. There's quite a lot of people. And this, uh, we're showing like each other our ships that we've built and stuff as well because I've got like a showcase video series I want to start. So get your submissions in. This ship is uh, starting to take shape now though. We've definitely got the uh, the foundations right. So we'll put uh, two more storerooms this side. Yeah, she's, uh, she's looking good now. Now we'll put in a cowlin. We'll put in the Nova cowlin so we can angle it up. So, you know, giving it that sleek aesthetic design. And we'll put the smaller one just at the top here. We need to add, there we go. Perfect. So now we're going to add some Dimos braking engines. These help you slow down, obviously, so they do serve a purpose, but they're so aesthetic. They make your ship look so aggressive. I love it. And now we're on to the fun part, the wings. So here we're going to use some Dimos wings. If you want to deviate from the original design and add your own flair, go for it. While we're here, we may as well add some landing gear as well. So now we're going to add some more braking engines purely for aesthetic now. Obviously they help, but this is for an aesthetic touch. We'll go for the Novas. Look at that. Oh, wrong one. That looks so cool. I like that already. Right, so now we're going to add some Nova cowlings for the wings. Now, one thing to know here is with the back ones, you can either clip them at the front or at the back. It's purely your choice. So we'll add this to the other side. And we're going to add four more so two to the exterior wings so you can have them like that where it pokes out at the back or you can clip it forward if you want to i prefer it like this because it breaks the the shape up at the back of the ship so now we're going to add some dimos tails you can have it down if you want but i find it looks just aesthetically more aggressive when it's uh you know up if it wants to snap up the snapping in this game drives me wild yeah that looks cool i like that now we're going to add some spines. So there's a couple of things that you can do here. The spines I like the most are spine A and spine D. So you can either have two of them. And I'll show you spine D now. Get that up. So you can have like a pair of them. You can choose which one you like the most basically. But what I did was I actually paired them up. So I used D at the back and then A at the front. And it just gives it that kind of streamlined uh, aesthetic look. I just think it looks so cool. I like that. So while we're here now, we may as well add the docking station as well. Get that out of the way. Don't build any higher now, otherwise you'll get that error about the docking station. So that's, that's as high as we're going. Right, so at the back, a couple of things. If this is going to be a starter ship for you, put in two cargo holds because the grade A like reactors and grav drives are quite thin. So they'll fit just underneath. If this is going to be a mid or late game ship for you, you want to put in just one cargo hold because we're going to put a uh, grade C reactor where one of the cargo holds were like that. Put that bad boy in. Right, engine time. So I had a plan for the engine. 
I want one big central engine and two little engines at the side. So I think we'll use white dwarfs. I think they're class A um, engines, but it don't matter. They're mainly for aesthetic at this point. Yeah. So we'll use two white dwarfs, put one either side. Yeah, that looks cool. That's such a cool design. That's looking really good now. So put your grav drive underneath one of the white dwarf engines here. Then we're going to get rid of this storeroom because we used a grade C reactor and this is where we're going to put our fuel. If you used a grade A reactor, one of the thinner ones, you can just put the fuel underneath that. But this will keep it hidden and tie in with the aesthetic of the ship basically. Looking good that. Right, time for the landing bay. So with this ship, which is called the Rambler, this ship comes with a bit of landing gear called the Hope 5 I think it's called. Um, I've not been able to get it unless you buy it with the ship so if it doesn't come on the ship I can't build it so you need to find a ship that's got it if you want to use this now you can use any landing gear but this this gives it that jet fighter look so it's purely aesthetic and I think it looks really cool so that's why we've gone for this ship but I don't like the landing bay there it almost looks like it's touching it so I think we'll flip the landing bay and uh, put it at the back yeah that looks better that looks better when it's like that but yeah, you can use any landing gear, just oh, I'm going for aesthetics on this ship, big time. So at the back here, we'll put two more landing gear, just to break up the empty space there and give it that aesthetic look. And then we'll put the fifth one, because we need another landing gear, right here. So this one's called the Pinpoint. Honk him here, and then I think we'll move it in a minute. Yeah, so we'll move this forward, and then we'll put it behind, because I don't want anything poking out. I want it to look, you know, quite streamlined if it's going to snap. Snapping in this game does my head in. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's looking good now. Looking really good. And then what we'll do here is we'll put a Dimos Cowl in. Again, just fill in empty spaces here. Nice, I like it. So I feel we're going to put our shield and then that's that done. Right, weapon time. Like I always say, dealer's choice. Pick whatever you've got access to or whatever weapons you you know find preferable. Me, I'm going for Gauss cannons and missile launchers. So we'll pop our missile launchers up here. I love ballistic weapons in this game. I like the sound. She's looking good now, isn't she? So what we need to do is assign the weapons and then give her a color. The theme I had in mind was like purple and green. I don't know why those colours just like go really well together. So we're going to try that. Let's have a look. So what you need to do is double click on any part of the ship and it will bring, you know, select all the parts, press J and then you can bring up the colour. Yeah, I like that purple. Right, let's get green. Saturation and brightness up a bit. Hmm. No, that's too green. We make it black and then do color free as green. What's that? Look? Oh, yeah. It does those little details there. That's what I'm after. Yeah, that's spot on. I think I've nailed it with this ship. This ship is so cool. You have to let me know what you think in the comments, guys, as well. Let me know if you like the ship, if you're going to build it, you want to try it out. But that is the theme. And that's the ship done. What a beauty. I think I've really nailed it with this ship. You guys have to let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, yeah, let me know if you're going to build it or do a variation of it. I'll be interested to know. But for a small ship, she's uh, she's quite big still. It's not a tiny ship by any means, but it's got absolutely everything you need. And it looks stunning. So I guess the only other thing to do now is to head into space. Let's see what she looks like in space. Oh, she looks good. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at her silhouette in space. Ha ha! She is cool. I love it. I love the silhouette. Easily the best ship I've built so far. Right, let's see how quick and nimble she can be. Let's uh, get around this meteor. Oh, she's quite fast, and she's definitely nimble. I think the only thing left to do now is fight some Crimson Fleet. 
So if you like the video guys, leave it a like, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.